Welcome to Behind the Trigger. Today we're going to talk about the 6-hour P938 and some of the issues I've had with it. Um, it's a really nice gun, but I just want to cover this because I've had, when I was looking up about the issue I was having, couldn't find any uh, answers. First thing we're going to do, make sure it's empty. It is empty. It is safe. Um, this is a really nice little carry gun. It's chambered in nine nine millimeter. Um, it's nice and light. It's got enough weight to uh, manage the recoil, um, light enough and small enough. It's out of the way. Um, one of the biggest issues I've had with this thing when I first got it was the guide rod. And I'm go ahead and disassemble this. This is the guide rod, and for the life of me, I cannot figure out why Sig did not do a captured spring on this. <clears throat> so it, it appears to be one piece, but it is not. It's actually two pieces. You got this little front piece right here, then you got this rod which threads into it. Makes sense for a production standpoint. However, having a threaded point at uh, probably one of the higher stress, you know, components of a firearm and handles, uh, sees a lot of shock and vibration. Now you're going to place to have a two-piece system. Um, what I initially did was I just took some blue Loctite, tight, put it on the threads, tighten it up, and which fixed the problem for me. However, when I sent it to SIG, they took care of that. The other issue I was having was with the ejector. This this little guy right here. This thing was sticking. Couldn't even push it. No matter how hard I pushed, I couldn't get it to move. Now it moved enough just for me to get the slide back on. Eventually I got annoyed with it, so I called SIG. Um, and of course they took care of the problem. Another issue I had with was with this was it was uh I could get this little guy to go full auto. Um, fun at first, um, but not practical, nor is it safe or legal, um, nor would I want to carry something like that. Um, yeah, it just, it wasn't a good situation. And the way I found out is I handed the gun to somebody else to shoot, and they let off a nice little two-round burp. Um, that wasn't good. They kind of looked at me stunned. Um, so what I did, I called I called SIG. I explained to them my problem. They immediately uh, sent me a shipping label, sent it back, and um, they completely uh, rebuilt the in, insides, replaced all the springs and everything else. And as you can see, this now folds up like it's supposed to. It functions fine, no issues. Um, whenever you incur an issue, with a firearm, you should call a manufacturer. If they're not willing to uh, take care of the problem at no cost to you, don't deal with them ever again. Um, Sig, Sig's been great. I mean, I sent it, in, sent it into them. They rebuilt the entire uh, firearm. Functions flawlessly now. Trigger's not as nice as it was, but it, fu it functions properly and safely is a key. Um, the other thing they did is, you see it has a nice alignment of grip. It also had a nice laminate mainspring housing. They actually replaced it out. It wasn't functional, it wasn't practical for its function. Um, so you just did a really good job and now I can actually use this and carry it safely. Um, if you have any, have any issues with your firearms, especially SIG, Smith & Wesson, or the name brands, give them a call. Um, a good manufacturer will take it back in and uh, fix it for free. Um, Literally, they've had they had this pistol for two days. Took some time to get to them. They had it for two days. They fixed it. They shipped it back. Within a week, I had this back and in my hands, and I handed it out to the range the next day and had no issues with it since. Um, 